Have you ever had a Krispy Kreme? Have you ever gone to Krispy yeah. Kreme? Was it crispy? No. Regardless of your opinion on Roblox's hit horror game Doors, you really can't ignore it. It's had some sort of effect on Roblox. Not only has it inspired memes, fan art, and animation, but it's also spawned a lot of clones. All of which are pretty bad by comparison. I've preached this again and again, especially in my alone review, but if you try to make a game in order to capitalize off of another game, then you've basically permanently attached your hard work to that title. This makes an incredibly easy comparison and thus makes your game weaker to criticism. People will come up with things like, you tried to imitate this mechanic, however Doors did it better. And yes, I know Doors was heavily inspired by Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Granted, I don't believe that these games really care about quality. After all, their scores are already rather questionable. Alone is somehow allegedly 600k in debt and has no hope of ever being updated or improved on. Intrusion was sold off to another studio, which is why chapters 1 and 2 are so jarringly different. Doors But Bad was made as a gag game, but as it blew up in players, everybody tried to make their own version of it and monetize it, and eventually it just became a big spamage of the same unfunny premise every time. In terms of Doors Floor 2, I'm pretty sure that I've seen multiple versions of the same game made by different people, but they were most likely taken down or something because I can't seem to find the one that had a ton of players initially. My name is Bredian, and I talk about niche Roblox games, and since you guys liked my alone video so much, I'd figured I'd investigate the other Doors clones out there. So, let's start out with the Doors clone that probably has had the most amount of requests. And also the most traction lately, Intrusion. You might have heard of it, it's actually been around for a while. I remember playing it when it first came out, and it hasn't changed much, except for the fact that they added a chapter 2. It was pretty similar to Doors, albeit different enough to the point where people could use a straw man argument and be like, Doors isn't the only game that has that aesthetic, guys. But like, come on, it's clearly trying to capitalize off of Doors. I mean, what were they honestly trying to do? Make a good game? So, Chapter 1 of Intrusion starts with you literally moving boxes. I'm not joking. There's also a fuse box puzzle that you have to solve because the power goes out. And it doesn't really do anything important except waste your time, I guess. Also, if you accidentally press one of the wrong numbers, you take damage, because I suppose that the game developers decided that it was a well thought out mechanic to add. You're tasked with packing up your items, and then you and your homies all take a rest in the same bed because I guess you're zesty like that. Then you are transported to the new house, where you then have to move the boxes from the van into the middle of your new living room, and then go to sleep again where everybody sleeps in the same bed, and also has the same collective nightmare. The nightmare teleports you back to the hotel, in a vain attempt to make the first half of the game not seem pointless. However, if you cut out this entire part, the game would literally be improved. Nothing happens here. It's just mindless, monotonous work. You could have just started us in the house and been like, We just moved in, that old place we stayed at was creepy. Or something, I don't know. So yeah, the nightmare starts in your old hotel room, and then it's like, GET TO THE ELEVATOR! NOW, NOW, NOW! And then some monster rushes after you. Not that kind of rush, but you get the idea. But then the elevator breaks, and you land in a room with the most uninspired monster design ever. It's just Sadako from The Ring. You then get text on your screen that tells you to hide, and you hide. Every player is invisible from each other, kind of like Halt from Doors. Similar to the halt section of doors, the Sadako section of intrusion is also pretty annoying. Especially because if you die here, you have to replay the entire house segment from the start. Unless you want to pay the game and revive. Chapter 2 of intrusion is a lot different from chapter 1, and that just might be because the game was sold off to a different studio. Regardless, I'm pretty sure that they're going to make an overhaul of chapter 1, so yeah. Chapter 2 is alright and all, I guess. The gameplay is repetitive, like Doors, and it gets boring and stale rather quickly. In a game that's supposed to be about story, there isn't much story happening. I mean, that's not to say Doors can be extremely repetitive as well, but keep in mind there's not much story in that game. Intrusion as well, trying to make a plot out of itself, but is failing miserably, and thus makes the game look really embarrassing. Chapter 2 has your main goal traversing through doors, but in order to open these electronic doors, which are located in a cellar, laced with technology for some reason, you have to complete tasks while evading monsters. 
gaining more and more tasks as the game goes on. One of the monsters is called Hound, and when it enters the room via the vent, you have to hide from it. You can't just run out of the room. Why? Because the door magically locks itself. You see, a lot of people with common sense, or at the very least me, would have at least tried to leave the room that the danger is in. But this game does not respect the player's intelligence. There's another monster, called the Darkness, who runs and kills anybody in the hallway just like a rush from doors. Sadako also makes a reappearance, she probably shouldn't have, because she doesn't fit the aesthetic and she's really stupid. The only monster design that I sort of took a liking to was the monster in the break room. I think that it has a good concept and I like its sound effects and stuff. It basically just tries to sneak up on you and if you turn around then it'll subside. Now I guess the creators of Intrusion Chapter 2 also agree with my opinion here, because they decided to make the monster chase you down the hallway at the end. Now, don't get me wrong, the monster deserves to be the face of the game. I, I think it's cool. However, trying to force this goddamned monster to be more important than it actually is, is a little fucking annoying and inconsistent. Not only does the pipe monster look a little weird and out of place when it's not hiding inside of the breaker room, but why is it chasing you? It doesn't have legs! It makes sense that a monster like that would be dwelling in a breaker room. You know, you can climb on the wires and stuff, they can hang from the ceiling. But then at the very end, the thing just decides to crawl after you, because the game wants to utilize its one good monster design. I mean, the chase itself isn't that hard either, it's just running down a straight path, except there's this cool fire that you have to watch the lights for. If Intrusion wanted to reuse a monster for the chase, they could have just made the darkness the chaser, right? I mean, he already runs throughout the hallways and he looks like a sprinter. Maybe they were too afraid of their game being compared to Doors. Let's just pretend that the game didn't name itself Intrusion Better Doors, though. The ending of this game is absolutely undeserved and intentionally ambiguous because that means less effort and thought can be put into it. Probably because they didn't actually expect anybody to see the ending cutscene. It was one of those, it was just a dream, or was it, type endings. If the game gets 20k likes, apparently it's going to get an update. I am not certain whether or not that benchmark will be achieved as it's already kind of a miracle that this game was able to stay around for this long. Also, Intrusion relies on you using chocolate in order to replenish your ability to sprint. This mechanic is stupid. It kind of reminds me of another similar game that tried to do exactly that. Doors Floor 2 is a title that so many games bear. Now, I would be down to say that these games are simple, harmless fan games, uh, but they don't really specify that in the title. They do so in the description. They're totally just trying to capitalize. I mean, seriously, look at the pay-to-win game passes, people. These games have a lot of choppy elements to them, and the monster designs are laughable most of the time. One of these games has a monster named Depth, who is essentially functionally the same as Ambush, but they tweaked him just ever so slightly in an attempt to differentiate him. But since Hyde doesn't exist in this game, he's just annoying. And his design and jump scare is so goofy. He looks like ambush if he was ran through and the jump scare just cuts to a still image of his face it's really hard not to laugh at this shit come on doors but bad is a concept that's been done to death it's not really the original creator's fault in my opinion the original creator just made a goofy little game and then everybody saw the success in it and decided to beat the idea to death low effort high visit count yeah yeah you get it once you've played one of these games you've pretty much played all of the other ones they truly do have the same gimmick I actually didn't mind this one take on the idea, known as Doors but with a low budget. Sure, the character design is stupid and could be improved, but it did one thing right for sure. It didn't overstay its welcome. The game knew that it was a parody of Doors, so therefore the game is short and sweet. The game lets you use the crucifix at the start and enables 12 player servers, just so you can, well, have fun. I don't actually think that my time was wasted playing this game. I just wish that they put some more effort into how the monsters looked, but alright. Then there's this also kind of weird game that I found called Doors But Sus. And the game is uh, a paid access game that's pretending to be a free game in order to get more players. The spawn room is just square and you have to pay to get into the sus room. Hey guys, this is Leon. Bredian told me to let you guys know to subscribe to see more videos from him, as his videos often cover niche Roblox games and won't be likely to reach people. So sharing, liking, and commenting on his videos will be especially helpful. 
whatever that means. Thanks for watching.